Hi guys, welcome to another post. I'm my monster van. Today we're going to be taking up three new additions to my autograph display room. The first being Boris Karloff. So we'll bring the camera in for a closer look. As you can see there, there's a nice print of uh, Boris Karloff in some of his most famous roles. And to the left a plaque. And to the right, an autographed book page. A nice, clean, crisp example. So that's my uh, Boris Karloff display. It's the last one I'm going to be doing. I have actually got four now, and I'm drawing the line under Karloff. So the next one is a dual signed Christopher and Peter Cushing piece. This is depicting the uh, Hammer Horror cycle of Dracula films to which they both appeared in. That being Horror of Dracula, or in the well, that's the US title anyway. Dracula 1958 is the UK title. Dracula AD 1972 and Satanic Rites of Dracula 1973. And as you can see, it's a very nice print there. Some of the most famous battles throughout the series. Incidentally, that picture on the right there shouldn't really be there. I don't know if that's uh, a deliberate mistake or an accident by the person that put this print together, but that's clearly Veronica Carlson with Christopher Lee there. And that is a scene from Dracula's Risen from the Grave, which never actually starred Peter Cushing. So he didn't reprise his role as Van Helsing in that film. But nevertheless, it doesn't detract from the overall look at the print. I think it's, it's a really nice uh, print. And to the bottom left there we have an autograph book page of Peter Cushing. And to the right, an autographed card of Christopher Lee. So that's my Dracula and Peter Cushing joint signed piece. And last but not least is my Tyburn Productions 1975 Legend of the Werewolf display. Now don't let this red screen alarm you. It is removable and I'll explain what that's all about in a moment. It's basically a nod to the director of the movie, Freddie Francis. He particularly liked to use coloured filters over his camera lenses in quite a few of his films. It's none more evident than in uh, Dracula's Risen from the Grave. Um, some people liked it, a lot of people didn't like it. I personally thought it added a nice touch to uh, the film and made some of the scenes look quite unique and eerie. Um, he did the same thing in Legend of the Werewolf in certain scenes. Um, it was basically to represent the werewolf's vision as he was walking and stalking the streets for his next victim um, with those bloodshot red eyes. So that's a bit of a nod to the director, that red screen. Those of you who have seen the film would have seen that uh, in the movie. So I'll take it off now to show you the full display. I don't know what it's glory. If we can get it off. Oops, there it is. That's a bit tricky. So there's the display in all its glory. As you can see there on the left hand side, there's an official. Tyburn Productions letter to film historian Donald Fernie, who is a personal friend of mine and there you can see the uh, signature of Kevin Francis who is the owner of Tyburn and the producer of this production Legend of the Werewolf and the son of Freddie Francis the director and there's a nice signed card by Freddie Francis a signed card by Ron Moody and a signed autograph book page by Peter Cushing and as we move up we can see a Tyburn tale of terror now that is a tagline that uh, Tyburn used both for this movie and The Ghoul um, Legend of the Wheel of 1975 and then following that is a nice photo of the actor David Rintoul as the Wheel. so that's my Tyburn Productions Legend of the Werewolf display. I hope you like that, guys. Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you uh, in the next video. Bye for now.